my name is Key Darlise and welcome back to my channel. So today our Zodiac video is going to be why does the Aquarius ghost people and I think this is relevant to Aquarius men and women because we both do it. I'm an Aquarius woman myself. These are 10 ways in which and why Aquarius do ghost people. Now I'm not saying it's okay, it's acceptable because I can admit I even do it myself. And it's no excuse to literally disappear on people, to ghost people, and to think it's acceptable behavior because I think all Aquariuses can vouch that we don't like for it to happen to us. So for us to project that kind of energy, I wanna say we need to do our best to channel our emotions and to actually communicate in the most effective way instead of just dipping out. So to all my Aquariuses, that's just first off I wanna say, let's do a better job at actually just telling people what it is instead of disappearing. But in the meantime, let's get into the reasons why we do sometimes ghost people and why. Because I hate to say it, Aquariuses, we know sometimes our strengths and we know sometimes our anger limit. And if we feel like we cannot communicate in an effective way, we're either going to shut down and cower because most of the times we don't like confrontation or number two, we're not going to be able to measure our strength and actually explode to cause irreparable damage. And that's just the God honest truth. I think the most part, we know our strength. We know that our venom, even with our mouths, can cut so deep to hurt people. And sometimes some Aquariuses do get out of hand. So instead of us getting out of hand to a point where feelings and stuff are gonna get hurt, we do walk away. So let's just get right into our list because I can go on and on about how it's not acceptable, how we need to do better. But let's just get into the 10 reasons why they may go shoot just so it possibly won't happen. Okay, let go. All right, so there's no rhyme or reason of in order of what I'm gonna say. So let's just do number one. Number one, is most Aquariuses we beat to our own drum. Like I said, our beats are like da 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 da. We do beat to our own drums, and in a sense, we're natural loners. And I think sometimes people can't understand that we literally just want to be ourselves. If Sundays are our days where we get ourselves together, we have a routine. We don't like for our routine to be d disturbed. We sometimes don't like people in our space. Sometimes we are independent thinkers. We don't want people speaking for us. We don't want to talk to people to put an impression on us because we can be impressionable. We don't want any, any voices, any opinions to dictate what we're going to do in life because we do like to get on, on our own. Can I even get it out? Jesus. Can we even get, <laughs> we can't even understand our own rhythm and beat at times. So sometimes we do ghost people because we need that time to just think, focus, fill our own cup up, and we just like to be alone. We are very content with ourselves. You know how sometimes certain Zodiacs, they need to be with people. They love being with people nonstop, like a cancer. They love being with people. Like they love their family. They love being around family. Aquariuses, we are masculine in a sense where we love being by ourselves. We want to know who we are first before we can give love to other people. So if we ghost you, nine times out of 10, it's just that we just want to be alone certain days. We don't want to be bothered. We don't want to talk to people. We don't want to engage with other people. It's nothing you have done. Trust me. Now, I do believe when it comes to situations like this where we just want to be alone, an Aquarius for sure needs to communicate. So the Aquarius is looking. You need to communicate that. Listen, I just want to be alone today. Don't just dip out and leave. All right. All right, so this just leads to number two at that point. We hate confrontation. I don't know how many times I can say it. We literally despise getting in an argument. 
having to explain ourselves, even have to explain our feelings. Because we feel like sometimes, you see me like dwindling with my hair because I'm an Aquarius, so I'm speaking up. We hate being vulnerable in a way where we have to explain what's truly deep inside of us. So we feel like, why is this person arguing with me? Why does this person think I have a problem with them when I literally could give two Fs about them at all? Like, that's not even me. That's not even my character. I'm not going to explain to you why I feel this way because I would never intentionally try to hurt you. And I think that's plenty of times. Aquariuses, we are blunt. We are to the point we don't mean to hurt people. But at the same time as we do, and then when people call us out on it, we hate the confrontation. So instead of just talking it out, we literally disappear, give people time to think about it, and then we come back and act like everything's okay. Definitely not right. Definitely not okay. But this is the second reason why the Aquarius will ghost you. And I think it just goes to show that we are very emotional and that's why we do shut down because it kind of comes off coward like but it's because we're very vulnerable when it comes to our emotions and feelings so we'll either rage out or we completely disappear because we don't understand why wouldn't people know that we have all this love to give like i shouldn't explain to you my love for you because i love you more than you ever know and I'm not going to get into an argument because I'd rather peace, I'd rather not discuss it, and then when you have some time to think it over, then I'll come back. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but maybe not. Let's just move on to number three. The third thing, which I, because I am an Aquarius, I'm going to keep saying that, we hate explaining ourselves. Let's just talk about particular topics if you're getting to know an Aquarius man or Aquarius woman and we feel like you're not comprehending and we're trying to go deep and intellectual with you we're trying to talk about you know historical things world topics politics religion because the Aquarius can jump from topic to topic they can go to talking about ratchet stuff then talk about cultural liberal arts helping people out and if you can't keep up and we have to break it down of why certain things happen. If we want to talk about conspiracy theories and you don't really understand it because you don't even read, you're not even knowledgeable, you're not even cultural. We literally disappear because we're like, you're not intelligent enough to sit with us. That is how the Aquarius think. I'm just saying it. I know that sounds very stupid to even say something like that because how can you measure, measure someone's ignorance or how can you measure someone's intelligence off of one conversation but that's just how the Aquarius things if we feel like you can't keep up with the conversation and it's just very surface level like love and hip-hop topics yeah the Aquarius is probably going to dip out, block, and delete you without even telling you that they don't even want to talk to you anymore because your intelligence is not there with them. And I shouldn't even say intelligence. I'm going to say your empathy level is not even there with them. That's how some people think. Moving on to the the fourth thing of why the Aquarius may ghost you. If we don't agree with your beliefs, it, with um, your values, with your morals, we will definitely dip out. We probably won't even tell you um, why, but most of the times when it comes to like beliefs and values, the Aquarius will speak up because they're all about speaking up for the underdog, the people who don't have a voice. So if you wonder why an Aquarius is just like not well, if you wonder why an Aquarius will literally curse you out, tell you why they're leaving and literally do it and dip out on you and ghost, it's because they do not believe in what you're talking about. They think that you are just like, you know, cuckoo. Like, why would you not believe this? Why would you not value this? Why would you not understand what those particular people are going through or what this is happening right now in the world? Why would you not get it? I'm not going to talk to you. Ah, uh, 
this is kind of like just a bashing of the Aquarius and I kind of feel bad because I'm literally showing my vulnerability in a way. So we're just going to jump a little bit to a lighter note of why the Aquarius may ghost you. The fifth thing, which I think all signs are privy to this for the most part that I know of. The fifth thing why an Aquarius might ghost you is being intimate. If you are shy, if you are not confident with your body, if you just are not willing to express yourself, be tender and be loving, yeah, the Aquarius wants no parts of it. If you cannot perform, the Aquarius wants no parts of it. People think that Aquariuses are very cold and shallow and are not touchy-feely people. No, we're not. But when our wall has broken down and we actually have a connection with you and we want to go there with you and you're not even confident either, it's like, no, ma'am, we're confident. When you get us there, we're, we're popping, honey. So what's going on? Yeah. You're not intimate. You're not in tune with your emotions. You're not confident. Oh, this sounds like a hypocrite. God. Because Aquarius, we got to get into it. Yikes. Ooh, this is turning into a really cringy video. I, I can say so myself. But anyways, yes, we love a confident person. So it can, it can bring out in us. We love a person who shows emotions. So we can bring our emotions out too. We love a person who is like willing to try new things because we want to as well. The sixth thing a why an Aquarius might ghost you. Honey, your energy is trash. That is a way for an Aquarius to ghost you. You're constantly draining. You're constantly complaining. Constantly, you're always the victim. Yeah, the Aquarius doesn't want to hear that. The Aquarius want to hear uplifting things. How can you be a better person? What is your goals? What are your passions in life? So if you're constantly that negative Nancy, you best believe that the Aquarius will ghost you. And I'm going to say this. Let's say you not even communicate that you're a draining person. If we notice, because Aquarius, we're, we're observers. We like to watch people, okay? Yeah, we like to watch people. And if we notice that you constantly have different friends every day of the week, you constantly really don't have a solid foundation, you don't have a good relationship with your parents, we start to think, hmm, what's going on? Why are you like that? Hmm, what's up with your energy? Is it draining? Hmm, yeah, don't wanna be around you at all. So that's the reason why we might ghost you. Energy level is trash. <laughs> now, the seventh thing kinda goes back to number one. The most valid point is for number seven is we get lost in our thoughts. We are air signs. We are cerebral people. We get in our heads a lot. We create storylines, fantasies. We worry. We're worry warriors. Yes, I'm calling us out. We think a lot about the details. If you didn't text us that day, we will sometimes create a whole story in our head about why you didn't text us. And then we're just done. We just dip, we just ghost, okay? And we just, we just get in our head. Like, I, I don't even know what to say. We are really, if you, you really have to tell us the way we're blunt is how we want you to be to us. We want you to tell us like it is. So then there's no room for us to second guess or wonder, did you mean that? Did you really mean that? Did you say that? Did you really say that? Mm, yeah. If you give us nothing, we're going to create a whole storyline in our head. And by the time we're done thinking about that one particular conversation, argument, topic, how you hugged us, how you said hello to us, we literally will ghost you. Crazy. I know. Now, the eighth thing about the Aquarius maybe ghosting you is that we lots of times think that no one understands us. We always are like, oh, this is like playing the victim a little bit, huh? 
But yeah, we lots of times think that people don't understand us. People can't relate to us. People just don't get how passionate we are. People don't understand our goals, our dreams, our visions. We're empaths. People don't understand how much people's um, impressions on us play. We just get very vulnerable at times where we feel like, woe is me. And we get a little bit down. You know, they always say there's two types of Aquarius living in that Aquarius person. We're introverts and extroverts. We literally are the hermit at times. When we go in our shell, we either think that people don't understand, we sometimes want to be alone, and we sometimes suffer with mental health because we have all of these thoughts and feelings wrapped into us that we sometimes can't understand or to express to other people at times. Reason why the Aquarius will ghost you, and this goes back to our flaw of being judgmental. If you're not living up to our expectations, we will ghost you. If you're not looking up to par, if you're not smelling up to par, if you're not, you know, going in your career as what we would like you to be if you can't keep up with our passion our goals where we want to be we will literally ghost you we're like what are you doing you said you were going to do this with your career you're still here no you're a bum no you're this no you dress like that get out of my face yeah we, we can definitely be judgmental like that <sighs> sad i know Now, the 10th thing is really probably the most shallow thing about the Aquarius. We sometimes definitely ghost people for the chase. <laughs> I don't know how many times, and I'm going to put myself on front street. I don't know how many times I've purposely looked at someone calling me on the phone, looked at a text, and purposely not wrote back and left them on read. I don't know how many times I've done that. And I know my Aquarius can vouch for me when I say this. We do it for a chase. We want to see if people really care about us. We want to see if the person is really going to dip out. If we don't text or call, we want to know that we are being thought of. We love the fact that people want us and feed on our energy like little vampires. Ooh. Now, I'm so sorry to the Aquariuses because I'm an Aquarius and I do feel like this was a negative video, but it had to be said because I know there are cross watchers and I know there are people dealing with Aquariuses who do these particular things. And comment down below if you know these negative and seen these negative traits of the Aquarius because I'm not lying. All 10 of them I have done, so I know if I've done it, I know there are multiple Aquariuses that have done it. And I have dated multiple Aquarius men who have done these things on a list. So, you guys, I know there are plenty more things of why the Aquarius will go through. Comment down below if you're an Aquarius. Comment down below. Baby girl's birthday is Sunday, February the 7th. So, yeah, you guys get into it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.